Welcome back. Welcome back. Are you enjoying yourself? I'm having a superb time. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. I, Could I really, you elaborate? Well, I yes, I, I appreciate the fact that you stood me next to the tall, skinny girl. That always makes well, me I was, feel better. I was standing <laughs> next to the tall, skinny guy. And you're I'm, right. And you're shorter oh. than me, so so basically. Right. basically. I think that's supposed to make and, me and feel we, better. And then we had Will sure. in the middle. Yeah, who's obviously an amazing artist. Yeah. Yes. I'm just talking about his height. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Be careful. Dan, Dan, Oh, Dan. please, please, please. Save yourselves now, ladies. You can <laughs> still make a run for it. <laughs> Jessica Cleland and Pat Ferguson are here, and we're going to be talking about Craft Fest. That's right. That's right. Where's it going to be this year? Baxter County Fairgrounds, okay. the educational building. Inside. Once you've been inside, you never go back out, do you? <laughs> nope, we don't. And we've expanded this year. Have you ever had an event? I mean, outside yes. and had bad weather and oh yes, yeah, yeah. Yes, this makes blew it, away. yeah. Oh, this bad, makes it nice, bad doesn't it? <laughs> Must be yeah. for my time. And you, what year? How many years? Fifteen years? How many years? Well, the association has been in existence for fifty years. Oh, fifty years. Okay, yes, but not, yeah, this but, is the thirty-third annual craft yeah. fest. And how many years have you been doing this? Do you know? Oh gosh, about just about five or six. Oh okay. Now Pat is now, the chairman. Now you've you've done it longer than that, right? Now, I, re I remember, if I got this right... You had myself and Harriet Mingy. That's it. Mingy. That sounds yes. familiar. Yes. She was a school teacher. Yes. Blonde. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You had, you had her, then you had she and I, then you okay. had me, and now you so have you, us. So you, know you know the trilogy. You know the That's whole right. thing. That's right. She's not chairman anymore. I'm not letting her go. Okay. <laughs> I made her... What's the organization? Arts and Crafts Association of Mountain Home. Arts and Crafts Association of Mountain Home. I'm not a craft person, so... Oh. She needs no. to be. Look at that. There's uh, an opening I'm for not you. Talented. Tackle her now. Nah, nah. <laughs> anyway, this event is coming up when? November the 16th and 17th. Now that's a Saturday, Friday, Saturday. November, Friday and Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Friday is nine to five. Saturday is nine to four. All day event. All day event. Free admission. Free parking. Food. Food. Food we, will be there. Food will be there. We have on-site uh, food and beverages, which is provided by homeschool moms, mm -hmm. and all the proceeds go for uh, supplies for the homeschool kids. Oh, wow, that's nice. Oh, yeah. nice. And it's good. It's down-home food. You know, it's hot dogs and hamburgers oh, okay. and what was it? Chili, chili, mm -hmm. chicken and noodle brine oh. with mm -hmm. crackers and taco pie. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very nice. So yeah. you know, a family Southern can come. healthy food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. right. Now, what are some of the items? Now, this is just crafts. It's nothing. It's nothing's absolutely. made out of the country. That kind of thing. No. It has absolutely. to be made by the vendor selling it. Okay. okay. No resales. No retail. No commercial. And okay. we're probably the last craft show. In you the have, area you, that you have it. huge turnouts. I mean, how many booths do you usually have? I know that you used to do this. Did you used to do this in the in the old mall? Absolutely. Yes. A, and and that that was full. That was a huge event oh, for yes. at the time. We were all through the main area and then up yeah. the stairways mm -hmm. too, up the walkways too. And you've I'm, so. you've expanded them, I, I think. Well, you we're have doing the best we can here. with the Stand education with. Okay. building. We've got a record 103 booths this time because we've expanded into the agriculture room. Okay. Nice. Where yeah. Now, Some people. What, what are the vendors count? Mostly from around here in the region, but no. they come from all over, don't they? They come from all over. We have some from Missouri this time. Uh, unfortunately, we had a couple of people out of Oklahoma that wanted to come. We didn't have room for them. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Mm. I mean, Gosh, it's a bad thing to turn people away. We were full in July. Put them outside. That was amazing. <laughs> you said they're from Oklahoma? They can take it. Hey, <laughs> wait a minute. I'm from Oklahoma. Well, you can take it, too. <laughs> Stand outside. <laughs> well, but this is a good time. I mean, uh, yes. uh, most people come to, to pre-shop for Christmas items. Exactly. And exactly. to find something odd or unique or one right. of a kind, that kind of thing. That's right. And we take pride in the fact that it's a juried craft show, which is pretty much unheard of anymore which, in this what area. What does that mean? Juried craft show means that it must be handcrafted. You can't bring anything in that is not handcrafted you know you can uh, embellish <coughs> some objects you, you can know, make like something you can out use of lamp vases or something. and then make right. an arrangement okay. to yeah. go with it sure you can do things like that yeah. but it has to be 
handcrafted mm -hmm. and, and made in America is preferred. the way to go you know for well, shoppers you, and for crafters that's the way to go and I think that's why the vendors keep coming back to this show is because they appreciate that yeah. because there's a lot of time and effort and talent mm -hmm. that goes into these crafts well it's an appreciated yes. event I mean it's, just, it it's a yes. purest uh, you know handcrafted homemade type right, of thing so exactly, I mean they, they right. come back for that right and we have a little bit of everything this year um, with being able to expand we're bringing uh, someone here that's local in with beautiful stained glass work which we've never been able to do before and um, we have expanded into we're going to allow home canned foods this year oh. um, we have a really excellent gal that does home canned stuff <laughs> <laughs> Anyone she made, we know? She makes a Christmas <laughs> relish that is to die for. <laughs> and, which there won't be any at the show because I'm buying it all before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we, are, we have expanded to food items. In the past, we've always said no to food uh -huh. items, you know, for 30 some yeah. years. But we finally decided something that could be sold and not consumed on premises, you know, that you would okay. buy to take home with you mm -hmm. as uh, relishes, um, syrups, Pickles, jellies, and that kind uh, of jellies, sure, jams. vinegars, you know, things like that mm -hmm. that people make themselves, mm -hmm. but, you know, mm -hmm. it's not like breads or things that you can eat right there, you know, because right. we don't want a big mess. Plus, we've got the parents of homeschool children that will be glad to serve you all kinds of things. They mm. spend the week before yeah. baking, yeah. and they have big tubs of all kinds of baked goods that yeah. are just incredibly delicious. Mm. So. Are, are there any unique crafts coming this year? It seems like every year there's something, there's something like, whoever thought of that? Grail art. Okay. We have a gentleman who um, we were lucky enough to get in. Uh, I believe they're coming in from Bull Shoals. Don't quote me on that. And he does... He calls it grill art, and he uses pieces and parts of old cards. Okay. Car grills. Oh, car grills. Something out and of them. We're we haven't seen them Are they them functional, yet. or are they just wall hangs? Or uh, we don't know don't yet. Know. You'll I have to go and find <coughs> them. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. You, you <laughs> need to come by. Yeah. Yes. That and the mosaics, and we have oh, stained yes. glass. Uh, folks blown glass. Blown glass, right. So, And we have all kinds of wood, you know. Turned wood, uh, carvings, mm -hmm. oh gosh, just more kinds of wood than I could possibly imagine. Do you allow the, the vendors to, to work on items at the yes. booth? Yes. So there'll be some demonstrations maybe going on. Right. right. We have a gentleman who does uh, lathe turning, and he will, we have a special spot for him this year. So uh, he should be able to, and he does demonstrations about one every two hours, mm -hmm. doesn't yes. he? Yes. As long as he picks his shavings up. He <laughs> does. He's a he great does. guy. He's great. <laughs> He's great. One of the things that is particularly interesting to me is that so many, we have 103 booths rented this year, and I would say 50% of those are returning vendors. They've done the show before, and they love Mountain Home, and they're coming back to do it again. It's good. Good. D is there a mission fee? Admission fee. It's free to free to get in. Okay. Free yes. to the public. Free parking. Free admission. Handicap accessible. Uh, it's at the education building at the fairgrounds, which is all level parking. Yep. You know, several doors that they can come mm -hmm. in and out. So it'll be rain or shine. Yes. Sixteenth oh, yes. and seventh, November sixteenth and seventeenth, uh, at the fairgrounds. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for more information, you can go to your website, and yes. I'll let you s tell tell me what that is. That's www. The Arts and Craft giftshop.com That would be plural arts and plural crafts. That's correct. Gift shop. The Dot arts com. and crafts gift shop .com. Mm -hmm. And your phone number? The shop's phone is 425 6434 6434. And if you need information on uh, the craft fest it's 736-1124. Okay. And we have applications for the June show. We do two yes. shows a year. Okay. Oh. They're available at the arts and crafts shop on the square. So if you couldn't get into this show, please come get an application okay. and come to the June. It's amazing the things that people come up with to make. I'm not a it craft is. person, but it is amazing to come it is, up with some of the things that mm -hmm. people come up with. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. So much of it came from Depression era. You know, we had to make do with what we right. had, yes. you know, and many of the crafts that people have come up with 
we're from that era and mm -hmm. it's just fascinating to me it's mm -hmm. just incredible can't wait yeah. my, uh, just a little story before we we've got plenty of time so I'd, I'd give you this story my my wife's grandfather great grandfather made peach rings peach seed rings yeah. in the depression time and, wow. and sold those because there was I mean he, he oh knew he carved and carved and yeah sure. so and that's the kind of thing you'll probably see. I mean, there's there's no limit to the imagination of all we ask. Go. All there we ask go. for is that you make it that it is handmade. Mm -hmm. That's all we ask. You know. Um, and we do go around and check. There are we do. occasionally every couple of years someone will try to. Sneak and you carry a big yes. stick with you. Among no, we just take it away from them. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that. that is good though because I cannot tell you how frustrating it is from personal experience. I've had this happen. You buy something, you think it's handmade. Mm -hmm. It taught me to pick up things and look on the bottom. You're right. right. Get it home, made in China. You're mm -hmm. right. You're right. Yeah. So frustrating. Unfortunately, one of the things that's really hard, and, and Jessica knows this especially because Jessica knits. Um, so many of the raw materials that we use to make our crafts, they're being made overseas, mm -hmm. you know, but... There's not much you can do about it. There's that, nothing you can do about it, yeah. unless, you wanna, unless you want to raise your own sheep and spin your own yeah. wool. We try to cut the tags out of things, like if, if we have a couple of crafters who make sweatshirts and embellish the front of the sweatshirts, right, we try right. to cut the made in you China tag out of the sweatshirt itself. Yeah. 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 You know, we do the well, best it, we can. Yeah. Well, it's frustrating on a... Put Sure. If it's a political note or not, but but you know, yes, I'm sure is. this I'm sure this shirt was not made in America. Right. Mm -hmm. But but if if we as Americans keep buying the cheap shirts, then it's, it's never going to change. It's never going to change. So, exactly. So what do you do? Well, you have one day a year that you say buy American only. And then may, maybe it'll be two two days out of the year, and then maybe a three or four, yeah. or maybe we then it can become a lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we appreciate you being here. This event, Craft Fest, November 16th and 17th, free admission at the, at the Baxter County Fairgrounds. Mm -hmm. Come out and enjoy yourself and uh, get ready to be surprised and find something original, unique, and maybe odd and maybe a little strange sometimes. But that's <laughs> so okay. So true. Odd, that's are you going to be there? Dan? I, <laughs> might be, I might be floating okay. around. You may be floating around. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. All right, let's take our last break. Well, maybe not our last break. We have our one last guest to, to talk to today. Jacob Smith is here to talk about Harvest Supper. Stay with us.